using that grub tail thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they'd be chasing. Right out there. I don't think I can cast that far without spooling. Oh. Got one. There we go. Much better. Little guy. Hey, little crappy. How are you? Yeah, I got one. It's a little guy. Crappy, yeah. Uh, we only use lures. Yeah. Sure thing. Well, that's different kind of crappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah we get. different from the one. <clears throat> yeah, that's, yeah, that's different from the one she caught. She caught one that had a big, big old black spot with an orange curve underneath it. It was way bigger than that one. There you go. Really? Yeah, that might be a shell cracker. That sucker was a big crappy. The the uh, yeah. those those things ought to be uh, ought to be starting to get real active this oh, time yeah. of year. What you using? Uh, worms? Check it out. Oh, he's using them things I had on my hook, a yeah. purple one. But he's got it on the head. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yep. All right, there we go. Early fall, crappy there. It is late September. And we're out here on the water doing our Tuesday night crappy fishing. Got a couple fishing next to us, uh, going for just about anything. It's time to put this little guy back. I've got my thing bent down so far here. Oh. All right, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, I think that's why we're uh, gonna strike it good over here. It seems like this might be their spot tonight. Uh-oh, is that a boat? Mm, no, it's just a rickety truck. I thought it was a, had a trailer on there because of that sound. All right, so once again, they responded to dragging rather than jigging. So I'm gonna keep doing that. <laughs> Didn't expect that. All right, so tonight's weapon of choice is uh, this little guy. He's in a wiggly, uh, flappy tail thing with a grub body and a regular jig head. Uh, we switched to using offset hooks. We feel like they're getting a much better hookup ratio than the, the more curved ones. Might have to put a new uh, plastic lure on there though because this thing's falling off all easy now. You can see a few shad kind of sauntering around. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need to switch this out. It's getting useless. Uh, maybe I can re do it yeah i'll do it through the top it was a little too through the top but we'll try it anyway all right oh yeah that'll hold get a little more life out of this lure i'm using high fit high vis line this time uh on my diowa Thought I'd try it out. Uh, so far, I like it. I like the way the line stays straight. It's the the Mr. Crappy high vis line. Definitely easier to see. Yeah, the insect probably uh, probably just aren't out. I'm gonna try close in here. Keep seeing a few flash. Got something. Oh, nice. Had a feeling. What do we got? This thing's fighting good. It might be a bass. Yeah. Whatever it is, I think I snagged it, not bit it. That's a bass. 
Got a bass. <laughs> That's a bass? That's a bass. Wow. Mama, look at that. You yeah. got my bass. <laughs> Not a huge one or anything. I saw I saw something kept screwing around in the water over there, so I threw at it to see if I could get him. You use a fisherman. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he got himself in a tricky spot here. That's pretty cool right there. Good stuff. Somebody's having fun, Kenny. <laughs> All right, so there's a nice, uh, nice, nice late fall bass there. It's uh, getting close to a pound there, maybe, maybe just under, not quite. I'm gonna do a little uh, revive on him here. I'm sure he's ready to go. Hanging out on shore. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> I had a feeling that was a bass. That's if I were a bass, that's right where I'd be. Oh, my light died. <laughs>